today I'm working on his eyeball. I gotta increase the uh, size of that eyeball. Time to play with some clay. I want to do just a little more research on the uh, mane of the horse. Um, I want to get the Mustang right. I have an idea of what I'm thinking of as far as the hair goes, or the mane goes. And I just want to take a break and go do a little searching through my photographs that I've taken over the years. And uh, try to come up with a good uh, 
set of photographs that I can work from. This clay is also getting really hard. This is, this is the old clay that I created this horse with about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And uh, it's gotten stiff because the oil evaporates over time out of the uh, clay. All right, I'm back. It took a couple hours and ate dinner and did a little research. And it's a lot cooler in here now, right now because I got the window open. The evening breeze is just spectacular. Anyway, I'm going to continue working on the main. And uh, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Uh, I got several pictures. You know, several pictures of uh, Mustangs. And uh, what's interesting is we, where I live here in Montana, in the Madison Valley, the uh, mountains to the west of us, the uh, Gravelies, has one of the largest... Uh, wild horse herds left in the country running free over there that ear does not want to stay I'll have to adjust that it's going to be hard for me to video this because of the odd angle I'm working at if and I don't have somebody to handle the camera so I got to do this myself and so I'm just going to turn off the camera and come back after I get uh, done with a few things here <clears throat> another problem I have is these fingers these three fingers here are so hurting right now because they're numb and uh, they tingle like crazy which makes it real painful to sculpt but I've been dealing with that about for about the last five years so I'll just deal with it a little longer I've blocked in the uh, main as best I can, and then I've filled in underneath because they still be got to be able to pull the mold off without having to rip it to pieces. I'm going to take uh, this Ronsonol lighter fluid and take out the rough areas. I got a piece of cloth right there.
I'll add just a little more detail next week. I'm going to take uh, Saturday and Sunday off. I'll put this video out tomorrow, which is Saturday. But uh, it's getting too late at night now to do it. I'm liking it. It's looking good. All right. That's it for the weekend, and I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.